Hello, dear precious metal enthusiasts. Welcome to this instructional video for the bar screen sensor. Today we want to explain how to use the BSS correctly and get the most out of it. So let's get started. First of all, connect the measuring head to the device. It does not matter which plug is connected to which socket. Then switch the device on and wait until it boots up. The device should be calibrated every time it is switched on. We use the stainless steel calibration piece supplied for this purpose. Apply some ultrasound gel to it and press the CAL button for two seconds. Then place the measuring head on the calibration piece and wait until a value appears on the display. If the value 4.0 is displayed, the calibration was successful. Calibration should be carried out every time you switch the device on, the measuring head is removed, or when the batteries have been replaced. Once the calibration has been carried out successfully, you can start measuring the test objects. Here we distinguish between two cases, the measurement with a known speed of sound and the measurement with an unknown speed of sound or unknown metals. Let's start with the first case. To successfully measure a precious metal ingot with the bar screen sensor, you need to know its speed of sound. We have provided an overview table of the speed of sound for the most common precious and counterfeit metals on page 28 of our instructions. Now to the measurement. First, find the correct speed of sound in the table and set it on the device. We are testing a gold ingot here, so we select 3,240 meters per second. In order to do this, press the VEL button twice so that the VEL symbol flashes on the display. Use the arrow buttons to select the appropriate speed of sound from those previously stored. If the speed of sound you are looking for is not already stored, proceed as follows. Select a speed of sound that is as close as possible to the value you are looking for. Now press the VEL button once so that the meters per second unit flashes. Now you can fine tune the speed of sound using the arrow buttons and then confirm this with the VEL button. As soon as the speed of sound is set, you can start measuring. Some ultrasonic gel is applied to the measuring point. This is completely harmless to the precious metals. The measuring head is then gently placed on the measuring point. The device then outputs a thickness in millimeters. Now measure the thickness of the ingot using a caliper. Alternatively, the thickness of the ingot can also be determined first using a caliper. This is then confirmed with the bar screen sensor. If the two thicknesses match, then there are no foreign metals in the ingot. In our chosen example, it is a good tungsten forgery, as can be seen here, which comes close to the target weight of the ingot. However, this is not a problem for the bar screen sensor. Finally, the ingot is scanned to check whether it has the same composition everywhere. We recommend this pattern. In the second case, the speed of sound of the metal to be tested is unknown. The first step is to find the correct speed of sound. Select any speed of sound on the bar screen sensor, apply sufficient amounts of ultrasonic gel to the test object, and measure. Make sure that the measuring head does not start a new measurement and that the thickness output remains on the display. Now measure the thickness of the ingot with a caliper and enter it into the device using the arrow buttons. This value is confirmed with the VEL button, whereupon the device automatically calculates the speed of sound. This ingot is an indium alloy that looks like silver. Based on the speed of sound, however, it cannot be silver. As in the first case, the ingot can now be scanned and checked for foreign metal inclusions. However, with this method, it is important to have experience in interpreting the results. If the thickness measured with the BSS matches that of the caliper everywhere after scanning, then the ingot has the same composition everywhere. 
and if the speed of sound roughly matches a plausible value from the table, this indicates the authenticity of the test object. We generally recommend determining the density of the test object. To do this, you can use a caliper in combination with a precision balance to approximate the density. However, our density balance, which determines the density using Archimedes' principle, is best suited for determining the density accurately. If all values now match the target values of the test object, then the test object is very likely to be genuine. To ensure optimum measurement results, we have a few tips for you. The measurement should be taken on as smooth and level a surface as possible. This prevents air from being included in the measurement. The surface to be measured should be parallel to the opposite surface of the ingot, as this gives the most accurate measurement results. The measurement is carried out at room temperature, being around 22 degrees Celsius and at a constant temperature. As long as you follow all these steps carefully, nothing can go wrong when measuring with the bar screen sensor. Don't forget to like the video if it has helped you. If you are interested in the topic of precious metal counterfeits, follow us and activate the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos from us. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and see you soon.